hey babes it's zimmy b welcome to my channel i am going to be showing you how i spent five dollars three hours and i got these gorgeous gorgeous two spring twists but before we go any further if you're new to this channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos but if you want to see how i got this look stay tuned so let's go over everything i use and all of these items i already had in my house i didn't go to the hair store we're experimenting today <laughs> so i got a pack of braiding hair it's in T1B30, so it has a little bit of color. I have, you already know, my holy grail, my control paste, a red tail comb. I have some rubber bands that I already have placed in, if you can see, <laughs> it's in a mixture of avocado and olive oil. So yeah, so I have that soaking in oil and yeah let's get started like i said i'm experimenting today we'll see i wanted to record just in case it did come out good and i have it on record <laughs> so let's see if we can do some twist in my hair my hair i took my weave out two days ago so i just been letting my scalp breathe this morning i put some oil in my hair because it was really dry and just twisted it just so i can pre-scratch it because it literally has been in a bun since I washed it. And I am going to use these twists as a guide. I may do my parts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do my parts way smaller than this. I think. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm a little tired, so bear with me. I just got finished work. I've been working for nine hours today. And I was going to put off doing my hair. But I'm tired of looking like a little ragamuffin around here. It's Friday. And. I want to get ready for the weekend so let's get into it i'm going to be using a rubber band method today and i can't decide if i want it to be bulb length or a little bit longer i will decide that after i have it fully in my hair each section this is how much i think i'm going to start using i think you may have to change and i may should have tried that before i separated all this hair we're going to see. And guess what? I can't see the back of my hair. I'm not going to try to make perfect parts. Really just want something neat. Protective. So let's see if we can get that going. Hmm. Okay, I'm back. I tried to do this several times from behind to try to record and show you the process and I was just having a very difficult time. So I'm going to do it from the front. So as you can see, I just combed out my edges just so it wouldn't be in the part. And now I'm taking the curls control paste and I am just rubbing it around the whole part just so I can have a nice flat part that doesn't have any flyaways and it's going to be nice and neat. After I make sure that it's nice and smooth and blended in, I'm going to take that part in a diagonal and I'm going to part the hair in half. Once you part the hair in half, you want to take your braiding hair and you want to lay that in the middle of that part. Once you have your braiding hair in the middle of that part, you're then going to take your rubber band that has been in oil and you're going to take your two pieces of hair they're going to overlap over the braiding hair and you're going to rubber band that hair together. And I know you may be saying, how many times is she going to secure this rubber band? I just want to make sure that it's nice and tight so that the hair is secure. <laughs> Once you have those two pieces together, you're going to separate it and pull to tighten. 
be very careful here how hard you pull to tighten because once you start twisting your hair your hair is going to tighten even more so you don't want to do it too tight and then it's uncomfortable but you do want to make sure that it's nice and snug but just don't pull your hair too much so the ends of my hair are normally frizzy and always want to stick out. So I'm just going to take the curls control paste and I'm just going to rub it in and add it to the ends of my hair. Then I'm going to separate it and add my hair to the braiding hair and begin to twist. Once you get to the end of your desired length, you're going to take a rubber band that has not been in oil and you're just going to tighten it around the end of the hair. Just make sure that you're holding the uh, twist with your free hand really, really snug because once you get that rubber band going, your twist is going to you know, start to unravel. So just make sure you're holding it really snug while you're rubber banding it. We're getting there still got this whole side to do I'm at the two hour mark so hopefully I can keep these in <laughs> for about a week and a half maybe two if I put it up in a bun I just wanted something that I could just grease and oil my scalp while my hair is protected and just something that's neat so you may find, because this is just regular braiding hair, sometimes something might get a little bit loose. Girl, I am going to pop that rubber band off, retwist it, and keep on going. So what I'll do is maybe I'll give you a one-week checkup video so you can see. It's very cost-effective. Hair I already have, and if you don't have the hair, it's $5 at the store. So for $10, you can get this look as well. So I'm about to do this last twist on this side, not my last one. I'm getting it and I am, I can't never get a straight part. <laughs> not because I can't physically do it, because from a childhood injury, where I had stitches in my head, so I can't get a part right down the middle. So I wanna make sure that I'm leaving me some edges though. Gotta have some edges. Okay, so, so once even again, I'm just going to take my oil rubber band. band. I did want to make sure to take my two pieces of hair rubber band, those two together. To this look. Then I'm if going you have to tighten it and begin or to twist. Specific questions to any part of the process, make sure you drop them down below. We're almost finished, guys. Just a couple more steps. This is going to be in the front of my hair. I'm going to make sure it's extra neat. This is the edge right here. I know it is. Yep. More edges. And I left more than what I would normally leave out because I really wanted to have some thick edges. So we'll see. So far I'm liking it, but I can't really say until I finish my entire head.
I just been doing. But when it starts getting thin, I go ahead and just put the rubber band on it. Cause I feel like the longer you go and it's thinning out, the weaker the twist will hold. So when it's nice and thick and you put the rubber band on it, it'll stay together better. Well, that's what has been happening with me. It's been working. It's been working. And now, So now we're going to tackle this side. Be right back. <laughs> three pack of hairs that's it this is just one pack one pack of hair i thought that i would be done in two hours but i was listening to a podcast and taking my time and i took a little lunch break because i was hungry so it may have been more like two and a half hours but yeah one pack of hair for six dollars my grandmother used to have this saying that when you go outside, you should never take your inside problems outside. So even if you had no money, finances was low, if you got $6 for some hair in three hours, bam. So I'm done. Well, I'm not done, but I'm done for the night. I'm tired. I got some vegan ice cream that's waiting on me. Tomorrow, I'm going to finish these ends, and I'll show you how I do that. And then we're done. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> so corny good morning so it's the next morning and it's time to finish up these twists so I got some water that's heating up in my teapot and I can hear it starting to whistle so the next step that we're going to do is we're going to take the perm rods and we're going to rod these ends once the water heats up then we're going to dip them so let's, maybe I'll stand up so you guys can see. So I'm just gonna do three at a time. Ah, perfect. Take it just like this and I'm gonna dip it. extremely hot water so I have my two towels I'm probably for the most part I'm going to do them off camera because I don't want to burn myself trying to do a hair tutorial so got my one towel got my towel to grab the water uh, yes yeah, so I'll do one for you and then I'll do the rest off camera Next step, let's take these things off. Uh, let's see how we did. Uh, me like C. Okay. 
and my hair is still a little damp. It's like maybe 10 minutes later after I dipped them. I went and put a load of clothes in the wash. Swept some of this hair off my floor. So I'm multitasking. I have somewhere to be soon, so I need to get myself together. Oh, forgot about it. So now I just gotta decide what I'm trimming. Right now I'm liking it different lengths. Let's see if I can show you. So I'm just gonna tr trim some of the little teeny edges off, like that little piece, stuff like that. So, so far, I am loving them. So now I gotta decide, do I wanna wear them down? Do I wanna wear them up? <laughs> but we're not done yet. So, a couple things that I wanna do. I wanna take my Gorilla's Knot and I'm going to do a little something with my edges. Let's see. Whole time I kept calling these two strand twists, trying to think exactly what I was doing. Can I call these rope twists, guys? Could these be considered rope twists? I think so. That's what we did. We experimented and we got rope twists. I don't really like this side that much. Okay, that's better. So what should I do? Wear them down or up? I don't really think, um, but we're still not done. Take my lala body, lada, my lada body, and I'm gonna move and tie it down, and then I'm getting in the shower. <laughs> Cause I told my mom I was coming for brunch at her house. She's making chicken and waffles. I'm just in here with you guys, trying to finish these twists. Mama is hungry. Little mama is hungry. So I'm just gonna try to saturate the whole top of my head and then make sure I get in, go all the way down. Cause after I tie it down, I'm gonna put my hair up in the bonnet while I hop in the shower. And what this is gonna do is tame some of those frizziness and make them a little bit more neater. Moose down, tie down. I'll be back shortly. And then we'll finally be done. Okay. So I decided that I was gonna wear it down because it's still a little tight. So once they loosen up a little bit, I'm gonna put it up in a ponytail. Hey, look at that. How cute is that? Like, I love these twists and they only cost me $5. Like using some hair that I already had in the house, using products that I already wear in my hair. Like, come on. <laughs> so this may be my new favorite go-to when I just want a protective hairstyle. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money. And it was easy. I literally listened to a podcast, film bits and pieces for you guys to see, and bam. Like, once you get a close up, you see these Swiss? Oh my God, they're gorgeous. And I'm going to stand up so you can get a full view. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have any questions about the product or the techniques that i use to achieve these two strand twists make sure you just leave me a comment down below and until next time babes